just stands for Prisoners Educated for Empowerment and Respect. I started this initiative to try and deliver a way out to inmates on how to empower themselves and leave prison and not return like 70% of those who do return within three years. The fact is, the only way out is an education. Judge Mathis's program is peer, and we'll find out in a while how you can help and get involved. Dwayne Dog Chapman and Felicia Snoop Pearson is with us. Snoop, you killed somebody. How do you ever get over that? Um, I just, that's something that I have to live with each and every day of my life. And long as God forgive me, you know, there's nothing else more can, uh, that I can say, but that I can help change a, a few minds that was just like mine when I was, when I was younger, you know? So, you know, I don't know. I don't know, Larry, you know? I just take it one day at a time, he, man. He sure did. Judge, do you ever deal with prisoners who were murderers? Uh, yes, I try and inspire them to change their lives while they're inside. And if they are going to be released in the future, I try and change their mindset for their um, release. But, you know, my focus isn't on murderers. Uh, there are a lot less um, heinous crimes that we can focus in on uh, re rehabilitating for prisoners, particularly nonviolent offenses. Eighty percent of those in prison are there for drug-related crimes, either drug use, uh, committing a crime to get drugs, or selling drugs. And so what, that's one of the areas I focus in, particularly for African-American men who make up 62 percent of the prison population. Dog, do you so, think so about your prison time? I'll hold it, Snoop. Dog, do you think about your prison time a lot? Uh, yes, sir, every day. Every single day. Of course, the business I'm in now, you know, putting guys back in prison, <laughs> I think about it and I remind myself how lucky I am to be, as we call it, in the free world. And that, you know, I'm, I'm the same as, as the judge and Snoop. We had our first chance and blew it. We get no second chances. Our job in life is to go after people that may be heading in the way that we are and and get them in another direction. That's the only way that we can forget the crimes that we've committed is by helping others. So that's our calling and, and that's what we're, pardon the pun with, stuck with. But every single day, every I've never, you know, I may forget my birth date every once in a while, but I'll never forget my prison number, never. Snoop, how yeah. did you come, how were you able to come off drugs, Snoop? Come on, I never was on drugs, Larry. <laughs> oh, you just sold them? Yeah, I just sold them, man. I learned from my mother. That was my example right there, because when, um, what, I almost died three times in a hospital, you know, and it was, it was because of my mother was getting hot. So, you know, like, I never, I never even tried it. I just sold them, and I know I was wrong for selling them, but did no, you, I never tried. How did you? Did you? Did you have trouble getting work when you got out of prison, Snoop? How did you get a job? Yeah, um, I went through a, t a temp agency, and what they fired me because of you know my background. And this is what I want to say to the judge: How you doing, um, Judge Mathis? But um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know the programs that's in prison. You know, we have that, like, them same programs that help them in prison. Like, I'm trying to get something in Maryland. Like, once they get out, they, that, that program that they was in, in prison, it could be the same program that they could, that they, they could fall back into when they come to society, when they come out to society. You know, and, and, it, and, it, and it starts there, too. You know, like, don't just stop because, don't stop because you in prison and you come home. You know, keep going. You know, just keep judge, going. Right, you got to help judge, yourself judge, first. Let him comment. Yeah. She's making a very good point, and that's what uh, they do in many cities. Uh, the Second Chance Act was the uh, legislation oh, that, that was that passed was right. that uh, Bush uh, signed into law, uh, and it provided hundreds of millions of dollars to agencies around the country. And that those are the agencies that help ex-offenders, and there are agencies as well <laughs> that deter folks from becoming uh, criminals. And one of the things that we do in our community center, the Mathis Community Center in Detroit, is to prevent and to rehabilitate on that you back You think end. society believes in second chances? Uh, for the most part, many do. Others... They verbalize it, maybe. Yeah, they may not verbalize yeah. it. Snoop, thank you. We'll be back in touch. Great girl, Snoop. 
Uh, right, thank Dog you. will remain with us, and we'll be back with Sharon Tate's sister and a criminal profiler next.